Coming up on Retiring Well with Michael Reese. When you put money in, you get a tax deduction. So it's kind of like the government says to you with these plans, have I got a deal for you. Oh, now we got distributions. Now they're putting us in higher tax brackets. Folks, this happens all the time. He was 72 years old and basically drawn down the after-tax account for his advisor's instructions. Retiring well with Michael Reese, helping you make smart decisions with your money so you can live a better life. Today is the day you can take back control of your money. Retiring well with Michael Reese, where we believe your best is yet to come. Welcome to Retiring Well. I'm your host, Michael Reese, and boy, do we have a fun show for you this week. We are looking at retirement plans, and essentially what we're going to do is we're going to look at the theory and then the reality. So this is kind of like, remember when you went to school and they would teach you all this stuff? And then you get in the real world and you're like, well, you might as well throw that all out because that's not how it really works. Well, that's what we're doing today. We're looking at retirement plans. We're saying, okay, what does the school say? You know, what's the theory? And then, well, wait a minute, how did this end up working out in the real world? All right, so let's jump in. So retirement plans, they basically, what I'm talking about here, by the way, is 401k, 403b, 457s, IRAs, simple IRAs, SEP IRAs. They're essentially all these plans where, you know, when you put money in, you get a tax deduction. So it's kind of like the government says to you with these plans, have I got a deal for you, right? Have I got a deal for you? If you put money into these plans for your retirement, you get a tax break as you put the money in, the money grows tax deferred. You don't have to pay tax till way out there in the future when you retire. That's what we're talking about here, those types of plans. And if you've ever been in a 401k meeting or a 403b meeting, they're always the same. You know, the, the, the guy or the gal who you know, is the advisor or the promoter of the plan, they get up, they say, hey, here's what you wanna do. Put your money, and this is the theory, put your money into these accounts today. That way you save taxes today, because wow, look at your income today, it's really high, and your taxes are really high today. By the way, is there ever a period of time where we don't agree that our taxes are high? Anyway, but that's the idea. Your taxes are high today. Save money today. And it's really cool. Your money grows and there's no taxes it grows. I mean, how neat is that? And, and then you don't have to pay taxes till like way down the road when you retire. But that's okay, right? It's okay because when you retire, ooh, you're gonna be in a lower tax bracket. Isn't that neat? Save tax today when taxes are high. Pay tax later when you're retired and taxes are low. Oh, I just get, it's so comfortable. I just want to pull up a, a mug of hot chocolate and just think about how wonderful that's going to be. Doesn't that sound good? Well, that does sound good, but meh, we got a problem with it because it's not reality. Here's why. Here's why. And remember, we talk to people who are retired, who are nearing retirement every day. And think about yourself. Let's say you're still working, right? Let's say you're still working and you're thinking about retiring. Do you know what the number one objective is for most people who retire? Do you know what it is? Most people that retire want to retire at roughly the same standard of living, right? I know, crazy talk, isn't it? The same standard of living. And so you think, okay, yeah, that sounds good. That's what I wanna do. If you do a good job saving for retirement, then congratulations, you are able to retire at the same standard of living, which is exactly what most people want. I mean, don't you? But wait, let's not just scratch the surface here, let's dig a little bit deeper. What if you retire at the same standard of living? That means that you are basically doing the same things that you did prior to retirement, except now you're doing maybe more things like traveling and things that cost money. But even if it's the same standard of living, don't you kind of need the same amount of income to pay for the stuff that you want to do that you were doing before you retired? I mean, don't you need the income to be about the same? And if the income is about the same, 
aren't the taxes about the same? Oh, but wait a minute, no, the taxes might even be more. Why? Well, kids are gone, so you don't have those write-offs on your tax return. The house might be paid for, oh, no interest write-off. And I know what you're saying, you're saying, yeah, the house is paid for, I don't need as much income. Ha ha ha, not so fast. What about health care coverage, health insurance? That's like a mortgage payment, but it's not as deductible as a mortgage payment a lot of times. So here you are, same standard of living, same income. Did your taxes go down? <laughs> no. In fact, they may have gone up. So how did this theory work out in the real world? Pay tax when you're high income tax bracket and save tax later when you're retired. In the real world, it often does not work out that way. We got some other theories versus realities coming for you, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Will your retirement vision be your retirement reality? Centennial Wealth Advisory invites you to an eye-opening and exciting event packed with up-to-date, valuable, and important information. Join us for a free presentation with complimentary gourmet dinner and find out what you're missing on these vital topics. What is the suitability versus fiduciary standard of care in the financial services industry? What are the biggest tax traps? What are the hidden costs in mutual funds? Why is getting a second opinion the most important financial decision of your life? And much more. Choose the date and location that works best for you. Tuesday, September 12th at Boone's Long Lake Inn in Traverse City or Tuesday, September 19th at the Boyne Mountain Resort in Boyne Falls. Presentations start at 6 p.m. and are free to attend with a complimentary gourmet dinner to follow. But seating is limited and fills quickly. Call 888-608-5825 or visit send-wealth.com to reserve your seats today. There is no cost and no obligation. Don't miss this important presentation, making your retirement vision a reality. Call 888-608-5825. 5825 today. Hi, I'm sitting here with Larry Flynn. Thanks for being here, Larry. Thank you, Mike. He's one of the advisors at Centennial Wealth Advisory. And, and folks, uh, as you may know by now, we certainly invite you to come visit with us. It's absolutely free to get a second opinion on your retirement planning. And I think it's important to get a second opinion from someone who's a specialist when it comes to retirement planning. And Larry, I'm sure they're wondering, you know, if they pick up the phone and they call and come visit with you, what kind of a, what can they expect? What's that experience like? Well, Mike, they can expect not to get hard sold. Okay, we're gonna greet them warmly. Um, we're gonna sit down and talk to them a little bit about their, maybe their story, you know, where they're from, where they grew up, how they met their spouse, you know, what they're dreaming of doing once they get soon to be retired or retired. Kind of what are their goals, right? Yeah, what are your goals? Um, we're gonna talk to them a little bit about who we are, what we do, show them how we do things, especially dealing in the market realities we find ourselves in today. Got it, so essentially, they're coming in, you're learning a little bit about what's important to them, what their goals are, what they're trying to accomplish. I'm sure you're taking a look at what they're doing so far. You maybe share a little bit about you and it's, it's just in a very relaxed atmosphere. That's right. Uh, and, and there's no cost to do this, is that correct? No cost, no cost. All right, so folks, there you go. I mean, it sounds very simple, very easy, very laid back. Uh, there's no reason for you not to just pick up the phone, call the number on the screen, come visit us, Get that second opinion. You'd be glad that you did. All right, this week in Chalk Talk, we're gonna talk a little bit about Roth conversions and tax bracket management. And you know, we've been talking about this week the theory versus the real world. And, and here's the reality, the real world. The real world is very simple. The more money you have in tax-free accounts, the better off you are, right? I mean, that's, <laughs> that one's an easy one, isn't it? And, and what happens is it's very common that people, a lot of people who are working, you know, you've been building up these retirement accounts in these qualified retirement plans. QRP stands for Qualified Retirement Plan. And remember, these are all tax-deferred accounts. So it's very common that people have, boy, a lot of money in these things. Yet, 
after you learn more about this, you say, well, wait a minute, I was supposed to retire in this lower tax bracket and it's not going to happen. In fact, taxes may go up. How do we, how do we transition from qualified retirement plans to maybe a Roth IRA or something like that. Um, and it doesn't have to be a Roth, it could be other tax-free uh, types of tools, but how do we get from A to B and, and how do we know if it even makes sense? So I want you to think about this. Let's imagine that your retirement looks like this. You know, here we've got a couple tax brackets, you know, maybe like 15, 25. And, and let's imagine that you have, well, first you probably have maybe social security in retirement. And so you, you have this income, it's social security income, maybe it looks something like that. And then, hey, maybe you've got a pension or maybe you have like maybe rental income or, or some other type of income. And that, you know, you add that on top. Okay, that's good, right? So social security and something else. And then maybe, now, now maybe um, that's enough. Let's say that's enough, that you're all good with that, right? So you don't even have to take money out of your retirement plan at all. How's that? That sounds good. But then what happens? Well, you turn 70 and a half. And when you turn 70 and a half, what happens? You have required distributions. And every year they get bigger. So let's say that, uh-oh, we got a required distribution the first year. It puts us here. So we're, we're getting close. We're getting close to that upper bracket. But then... A couple of years later, oh, now we got distributions. Now they're putting us in higher tax brackets. Folks, this happens all the time, all the time. So what do we like to do? We like to say, well, wait a minute. We see this is coming down the road. We see all these extra taxes. They're coming at you like a freight train. Can we do something today? Could we do something today to help maybe not make this so bad? That's a question we're gonna ask. So here's what we do. We kind of go back to, here's your social security, here's that other income, whether it's a pension or whatever. Hey, maybe that other income's like, maybe it's IRA. Maybe because you're supplementing income with an IRA. But what we're gonna do, you know what we like to do? We like to say, well, gosh, there is this gap here, right? See that gap right there? There's a gap of, you know, in that tax bracket of 25%, you're going to be paying that when it comes out of the IRA anyway. Why not pay it today? Why not pay some extra taxes today when, you know, you're still in this tax bracket? And what we're going to do is we're going to move whatever amount of money we can from these qualified retirement plans like IRAs and 401ks, we want to transition that to a Roth IRA so that that, and, and once you do that, the benefit to you is once the money gets there, that money is tax free for you for the rest of your life. However, the disadvantage, in order to get it there, you got to pay tax. Well, we've got a gap right here. We've got a gap. This is, we've got a, it's called tax bracket optimization. There's a gap here of a tax bracket you're not using. We would tell you, hey, let's use it and let's convert what we can. Why? Because you're gonna pay that price later anyway and in fact, probably a little bit more. And see, the idea is this, Roth IRAs have no required minimum distributions. So what happens is every dollar that you get out of these retirement plans and move to Roth, you're reducing your future required distributions which helps you manage your taxes long-term as well. So folks, that just helps you uh, identify how to get from A to B Right? Obviously, it's a one-on-one -on -one calculation, but hopefully that gives you a little bit better idea of how to do this stuff. NMC Extended Education is introducing an educational class titled Retirement Secrets, Your Best is Yet to Come. Our very own Larry Flynn will be the presenter. If you are nearing retirement or already retired, then this class is for you. Many things can threaten your ability to outlive your assets and retire well. The three big things being health care, inflation, and taxes. Learn to navigate the critical issues that a retiree must deal with. You'll learn how to plan for a predictable and sustainable income, minimize taxes on your IRAs, maximize your Social Security benefits, and avoid estate planning mistakes. We'll also discuss long-term care concerns and what investments are appropriate in different situations. The cost is only $69, materials will be provided, and a spouse or guest may attend for free. 
The class will be held on two Wednesday evenings at 6 p.m. for three hours, October 4th and October 11th at the NMC Great Lakes Campus, Room 101. Reserve your seats today by calling NMC at 231-995-1700. The class is called Retirement Secrets. Again, that number is 231-995-1700. Welcome back. This week we are talking about qualified retirement plans, theory versus reality, or you know what they teach you in school versus the real world. And one of the biggest things that I, maybe I would, I, I don't know if I'd call it a misconception, or maybe it is a theory, but whatever it is, one of the biggest problems we have with these retirement plans is that you you, the person with the retirement plan, very rarely do you really understand how it works in the real world and what it's worth. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about, okay? So I uh, had a fella come in the office, let's call him John. I mean, that's not his name, but you know, we live in a world of privacy, I can't give real names. Let's call him John. This really did happen though. He came into the office and he had an IRA and it was worth basically $500,000. He had it at Fidelity and, he, and he, when he came in, you know, he was kind of being a bit of a, well, I'll just say not a nice, nice person, how about that? So not somebody that, um, not, not the most respectful of people, we'll just say it that way. So I thought, okay, if he's gonna be this way, I'm, gonna maybe have a little fun with him. Uh, so here's what happens. You know, he comes in, he's very gruff. He's like, look, I got 500,000 in my IRA. He had about 500,000 in his IRA. And so I said, you do? He goes, yeah. He goes, here's my statement right here, right? And he shows me his statement, he drops it on the table. He's like, I got 500,000 in my IRA. And since he wasn't being very nice, I thought I'd have a little fun with him. And so I just kind of sit back and smile and said, uh, no, you don't, no, you don't. He's like, what are you talking about? It's right there on black and white, right there. I'm like, look at my piece of paper. Look at this. It says 500,000. And again, you know, I looked at him and I'm like, nah, no, you don't. <laughs> and he was getting quite frustrated with me at this point. And, you know, at, we were just having, I was having a little fun. I, maybe I shouldn't have, but that's what I was doing, you know. And anyway, um, what was I talking about? And eventually I got with him. I said, John, look. Look, here's the problem. Here's the problem. Something is worth what you can sell it for and get cash. Can we agree on that? So for example, for example, let's imagine you have a home and your home is say worth $500,000. And you sell that home and you get 500,000 in cash. Then that home is worth 500,000, correct? Okay, great. We all agree on that. And I say, so now let's imagine this. Let's imagine that you owned um, $500,000 of say IBM stock. And this was after tax money. And, and you've got 500,000 of IBM stock and you, you uh, sell that stock. What's it worth? What do you get in cash? Well, 500,000, but well, wait a minute. If you owe capital gains taxes, what if you've got 100,000 of gains there? You might owe the IRS 15, 20,000 dollars in tax. So what do you have left over when you sell the stock? 500,000 minus what? The tax you pay. So is your IBM stock worth 500,000? No, not really. It's really worth maybe 480 or 485 to you because you sell it for cash, you gotta give some of that cash away so it's worth a little bit less. Make sense? Well, then I said, John, what about this Fidelity IRA thing you got going on? If you sell that for cash, how much do you get out of it? Well, after you pay off the IRS here, you only have about 300,000 left over 350. See, what you really have is, I know this statement says, you know, John's IRA, and I know it says 500,000 at the bottom, but here's what else we know. If you try to cash it out, you're not going to get 500, are you? And in fact, if we're really honest, if we're honest, that IRA should say John and IRS's account 
if we're honest with ourselves. See, you have a silent partner in that IRA. It's called the IRS. They own a chunk of that IRA. You don't have 500, you have about 300 or 350. And the biggest mistake people make is they plan as though they have five when they only have three. And I don't want you making that same mistake. Will your retirement vision be your retirement reality? Centennial Wealth Advisory invites you to an eye-opening and exciting event packed with up-to-date, valuable, and important information. Join us for a free presentation with complimentary gourmet dinner and find out what you're missing on these vital topics. What is the suitability versus fiduciary standard of care in the financial services industry? What are the biggest tax traps? What are the hidden costs in mutual funds? Why is getting a second opinion the most important financial decision of your life? And much more. Choose the date and location that works best for you. Tuesday, September 12th at Boone's Long Lake Inn in Traverse City or Tuesday, September 19th at the Boyne Mountain Resort in Boyne Falls. Presentations start at 6 p.m. and are free to attend with a complimentary gourmet dinner to follow. But seating is limited and fills quickly. Call 888-608-5825 or visit send-wealth.com to reserve your seats today. There is no cost and no obligation. Don't miss this important presentation, making your retirement vision a reality. Call 888-608-5825 today. NMC Extended Education is introducing an educational class titled Retirement Secrets, Your Best is Yet to Come. Our very own Larry Flynn will be the presenter. If you are nearing retirement or already retired, then this class is for you. Many things can threaten your ability to outlive your assets and retire well. The three big things being health care, inflation, and taxes. Learn to navigate the critical issues that a retiree must deal with. You'll learn how to plan for a predictable and sustainable income, minimize taxes on your IRAs, maximize your Social Security benefits, and avoid estate planning mistakes. We'll also discuss long-term care concerns and what investments are appropriate in different situations. The cost is only $69, materials will be provided, and a spouse or guest may attend for free. The class will be held on two Wednesday evenings at 6 p.m. for three hours, October 4th and October 11th at the NMC Great Lakes Campus, Room 101. Reserve your seats today by calling NMC at 231-995-1700. The class is called Retirement Secrets. Again, that number is 231-995-1700. Welcome back, folks. I'm sitting here with John Torbett, Financial Advisor at Centennial Wealth Advisory. Thanks, John, for being here. Thanks for having me, Mike. Now, as you know, we're talking this week about retirement plans and, and you know, the taxes they generate and, you know, just everything behind these sure. qualified retirement plans. And, uh, what the, and what we'd like to do uh, with you here is just talk to you a little bit because you're on the front lines. Oh, yeah. You're talking to people all the time about this stuff. Uh, and I'm sure you have a great story to share for the folks at home about you know, a, a case that's come across your desk at least at some point that uh, is really uh, reflective of the things we're talking about this week. Yeah, this was a, a case actually a couple of years ago where somebody came to us, uh, we'll call them Jim and Julie, where Jim, 72 years old, had a business here in Traverse City and sold that business and so was getting a little bit of income from that and was okay. working with a, with a bank um, to help him with his financial planning. Okay, so wait, so, so wait, he's got, he, he retired, he's got a business, yep. he sells it, and um, he's got some income coming in from that, and he's got this bank that he's working with. Yep. All right, got and, it. And so at the time, back when he originally sort of retired, sold the business, he had approximately a million dollars or so in after-tax accounts, so non-retirement accounts, okay. and then another million dollars in basically IRA. Okay, wait, stop right there. Yep. Did you catch that, folks? How would, that, how would you like to be that guy, right? Oh, yeah. A million bucks? After and a million bucks in the IRA both? Yeah, he did very well. And when himself, how old so. was he when he retired? So he was sixty-two when he Okay, retired. so so yep. you met him like ten years after all of Correct. this. Correct. Okay. Yep. So so what, what happened between when he retired and when he met you? Yeah, so when he came to us, he was seventy-two years old and basically drawn down the after tax account per his advisor's instructions, basically 
growing that, that IRA money, I, I guess, to the million dollars that it was at 72 okay, years. Okay, so wait, so he was, what you're saying is he was spent, so between 62 and when you met him at 72, yep. instead of taking some IRA distributions for income, he took all the after-tax money for income instead? Correct. Now, why, why would they do that? Well, that was basically what the advisor who was strictly sort of focused on the investment structure didn't really have a, an understanding of the tax code and, and what goes into that, and so ultimately was just making investment recommendations and ultimately told him, hey, you could have lower taxes now, not really bringing up what that looked like 10 years down the road. So, so how, did that, did, how did that cause problems then when he was 72 and starting to visit with you? Well, that was when we sort of had that, that conversation where it was saying, okay, now what was the reason behind this? And he, and he ultimately brought up saying, I don't feel like that was the best strategy, but he didn't, he didn't want to second guess his advisor. I understand. So, so, so the net effect was, if I'm, if I'm hearing what you're saying, and folks, just so you know what, what we're talking about here at home, and sometimes it's a little confusing when you're talking taxes, right? Sure. Um, but what, what this guy was doing is he had two types of dollars. He had right. money in IRAs and he had money in after tax. Yep. And during the initial phase of his retirement, the advisors were saying, pull the money from the after tax accounts because you've already paid tax on it. Right. So that gives you an income stream and it keeps your tax liability low. Yeah. And in the meantime, they just let the IRA dollars grow. Yeah, so the, the, what's basically happened now to him is he kept taxes low for a while but now all of a sudden he's bumping into a higher tax break. Because he's now 70 and a half, right? He's got to take required distributions. Exactly. And, and what would have been the better thing for him to do during his 60s? Uh, how could he have been in better shape by 70? If he, right. Could he have done something different, I'm saying? I mean, that's ultimately something for myself and Art and Larry here in the office year by year with clients are looking at how to structure your income from a tax perspective of how to draw that off, draw that out. And ultimately, it may have been better to mix it in. We, I'd, you know, we'd have to look at that yeah. more closely. But um, the, the big thing on this, too, that uh, I wanted to put out there is the fact that his wife is actually 10 years younger than him. And so... Not only is this a tax issue now for, for them, but the concern is when he passes, likely, oh, before now her, issue, now it's all taxable money that's going to be left to her to then continue on for Got it. years. So. Holy cow. Yep. Folks, so basically the moral of the story is it's not just about the investments. you got to look at the tax nature Most of those definitely. investments as well. Definitely. All right. Well, that's a great story, John. We really appreciate you being here. And, and folks, we're reaching the end of the show this week. And, Look, I just want to tell you this. This is a big deal. And so if you find yourself, you're retired, you're trying to figure out where to pull income, that's why you want to pick up the phone, give us a call, get a second opinion, because these guys, they are experts in that arena. Uh, thanks for watching this week. Hope you have a great weekend.